everyone and welcome back to day 52. Today I have another lovely visitor, my little grandson. Say hi boo. Say hi. 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 Mm. He's my youngest grandson. He's playing with his cars. Where's your cars boo boo? Show me your cars. Mm -mm. You're silly. Mm -hmm. He's eating a little treat. Look at him. He's being a goofball. The weather is really, really cold outside, so it's kind of hard to get in some exercising. So I think what I'm going to do for the winter time is um, is get my treadmill all ready. Oh my goodness! I got the most beautiful gift from Marianne, a pocket full of vintage. She is the dearest, sweetest, kindest. Oh, not that you guys aren't. But I was just so touched and so surprised by it. And um, it was basically uh, a gift to thank me for sharing my challenge and therefore inspiring her. But then I find that you guys all inspire me. So it's just like a full circle. But I'm Mary and I'm wearing my bracelet with my new bead on it. Here I'll show you. So the bracelet, the bead that she gave me is that green and pink one right there on my hand. <coughs> you okay? did a mother blessing for some friends of ours and um, so we have the mother to be put a bead on us and once the baby is born she then cuts we cut the cord and every time we think about her or see this bead or are aware of this bead we send her positive well wishes and things like that so that's what that string bead is but the one i got from marianne oh so pretty love it love it love it love it. i'm going to put a link in the video below so you can see all the wonderful things that she sent me so um and she didn't have to do it and i feel so undeserving of them but i was really really uh thankful and grateful to her so thank you so much I just finished having a shake with blueberries and banana and this little guy is a really picky eater you never know it by hearing him smack his little treats but he's picky eater and he wanted some of my shake so I gave him some and he absolutely loved it so I wonder if that would be a good alternative sometimes if a child won't eat because that is a full meal replacement so if you put some um, you know bananas and fruit in it um, they think they're getting like a little milkshake, but it's really full of vitamins and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So during my tool section, I'm going to you do, uh, that's where I'm going to do my tips, my Tuesday's tips. So um, this little contraption is called the Misto. And it is an uh, excellent alternative to uh, Pam cooking spray or any kind of cooking spray that you use. Because I find when I use um, any cooking spray in a can, when I spray it, it makes me choke. I don't, and it's some kind of chemical in it. This is fantastic. So it comes like this. It has this little, this is kind of a pump. Because I think people would wonder how you get the, um, the chemicals are what forces the spray out, so the atomizer. So you fill this half full, so I have put olive oil in it, and then when you put the lid, this back on, you can feel the resistance, almost like a pump. So you can give it a couple of pumps, like so, and then it should have enough pressure in there that you can use this, yeah, like, like Pam, you see? So I've got oil, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it sprays like, so this is a much more natural, healthier alternative. Using cooking spray is way less calories than using, um, pouring oil in the pan because you're going to use less. So a misto may, just takes it up a notch because you don't get the extra chemicals with the oil. And I just think this is fantastic. So if I can find a link to this online, because I have no idea where Laura got it. I think she got it in a kitchen, probably a kitchen shop or something like that. But I'll see if I can find a link online for it. So that's my Tuesday's tools or Tuesday's tips using a mist. Like I said, I'm going to still exercise. I'm going to pull out my treadmill. 
well not pull it out it's there I just have to make a little bit more space for it in the family room I haven't covered it up with clothes or anything and my sneakers are still there I use it quite a bit in the winter time but then I stopped for a long time so I'm going to start using it now because um, it's just so cold outside I know it's going to get colder but it's very much fall in the air last night we even had a freezing warning for um, the outlying areas if you had any vegetables or anything so we were a little bit concerned about um, our Swiss char in the garden that community garden but I, I don't think it went right to freezing but that just gives you an idea how cool it is not in a hip way how cool it is in a cold way so yeah I hope you guys are having a great day my daughter's gonna bring over her little guy Ozzy so a day can play with Ozzy and they can have fun time. Is um, Ozzy coming? Is Ozzy going to come play with you? Yes? That will be fun, hey buddy? Well, I hope you guys are all having a super, super day. And uh, do something wonderful for yourselves. And maybe do something wonderful for someone else too. That might be nice. Oh, and I also wanted to just say... Christina Cabot's tube user here on this channel is having surgery I think today or tomorrow on her hand so if you guys can all send her a little well wishes or just say a little prayer for her that everything goes well I'm sure it will but it doesn't help hurt to have a little bit of everybody saying some prayers that she gets through it okay and then she's able to get back crafting soon so um that's it for today. So you guys all have a beautiful, wonderful day. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Well, look. Look in the camera. Say bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Say so see you tomorrow. Give everybody Uma. Mm, good boy. Ah.